watch me this Shady Bobby, I'ma grind till I get it I don't rap about it unless I done lived it Team with me just in case I'll be tripping Crack a barrel cause they come with the business Bet my money if you talk it's a business If you ain't then I'm gone in the shit Paper chaser, yeah, got me a sickness But allergic to these phony ass bitches Listen, Wow, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Chad Arms, aka Chetty Bobby Oh, I'm buddy. And if you're clicking on this video, you've noticed I just blew a speaker. Oh, God. If you're no, uh, clicking on the video, you've noticed that I'm doing this my entire Screen Factory collection video. I don't have every collector's edition. I have the majority of them. Some of them are out of print and they're way too expensive. Um, the ones that I do have have slips for the most part. There's a handful that don't. Big whoop. Want to fight about it? We're going to get through it quick. I've got a bunch of stuff to show you. I haven't watched all of it. I fucking love you. Subscribe to the channel. Fucking Fragrance Frankie, Fitted Hat Frederick, uh, Blu-ray Maniac. It's all, we're all the same person. Outskis and Aboutskis, movie reviews, men's fragrance content. Fucking let's get it. Let's go. Collector's Editions, Wham Time, 10 to Midnight. Hashtag Wiener Dangle. Classic. Next up, we've got April Fool's Day. Meh. Not too, not too terrible, not too good either. Next up is a John Carpenter film that I love from 1976. Assault on Precinct 13. Not even really a horror film. One of the first Scream Factory releases. And I freaking love this movie, man. Love the soundtrack to it. I think it's a good like action you know, type movie. Um, John Carpenter's the man. He's my favorite director as far as horror movie goes. Next up, we've got Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. Why am I yelling? This one's okay. It's got some cool parts to it. It's not the greatest movie ever, but it's not bad. 2007. Next up, we've got another John Carpenter great one. Big Trouble in Little China. Shout out to Uncle Kurt Russell. He's a little man. Continuing on, Black Christmas, 1974, goodness. One of the first slasher movies, if not the first. I dig this one, man. The remake is okay. Uh, the 2000... The 2000... The 2000... The we make. 2006 had a remake. It was cool. I didn't watch the Bloom House dog shit one, and I won't watch it, and you can't fucking make me. Next up, The Blob. Check out this mullet action on Kevin Dillon. Get the fuck out of here. Like The Blob. It's, of course, that's a remake, 1988. Next up, another John Carpenter um, goodie. You got body bags. Anthology film. I really only like the gas station story. Wish that was a full movie, but John Carpenter killed it as like the the character that talks in between. Oh, Chad, what do you got? A hammer film? And it's not opened. Who would have thought? Brides of Dracula, 1960. I'm gonna watch that in so quick. Moving on. What else do we got? My brother's mowing our yard and his dog is freaking out. I've got music playing underneath, but if you hear a dog barking, I swear we're not mistreating him. He just wants his, his pops to come back inside for mowing. What's that? Bruce Campbell Bubba Hotep. See my brain glitch a little bit? Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Uh, it's okay. It's got some good humor in it. Is it the best movie? Fucking no way. But hey, whatever. The Burning, great 80 slasher flick, complete ripoff of Friday the 13th. You got Jason Alexander in here with a full head of hair. I mean, it's worth it just for that. Next up, we've got Candyman, the original. And it doesn't have a slip cover. Who gives a shit? What, what year is this? Fucking 2000, 7000? What year is this? 1992. The remake looks like it's going to be pretty much dog shit. But I'm going to go see it because I got the Regal Pass. Moving along, Carrie. I like this one. It's not the greatest, but it's cool. 1976. Got some cool like horror elements in it. Next up, guess if I've watched this. No! Cat people. Probably won't. Next up, Child's Play. Classic um, Chucky. Of course, I've got the box set, so I've, this is still sealed. But um, I've I've watched the first five Chuckies. I haven't watched all of them. Uh, this What year was this? 1988. Good ridiculousness. I mean, everybody knows Chucky's ridiculous, but... Next up, Class of 1984. This one's cool, man. It's not really a horror film, but uh, it's dope. It's kind of along the same lines. The, the style of movie is kind of like Assault on Precinct 13. It's not a horror film, but one of the earlier ones they put out, you know what I mean, kind of in this in similar style, uh, 1982. Michael Fox in that, not Michael J. He didn't even have the J yet. That's how young he was. 
Next up, we've got The Craft. I dig this one, mid-90s film. Um, the remake, we'll not watch it because it's a Bloom House remake. I'm sure it's dog shit. This is 1996. Farooza Balk, giggity. Weird giggity, but still a giggity. Next up, we've got Cobra without the slipcover. It ain't worth shit because it ain't got the cardboard over it. 1986, Sylvester Stallone, Uncle Sly, Ridiculous Cheese. It's damn near a horror film at times. Is it good? No, but it's awesome as far as fun factor, but it's not a well-made movie. Creep Show. This one is a well way woo. Did the did the well done woo woo. Um, what year is this? 1982 anthology. Everybody knows Creep Show's great. I'm not gonna fucking keep reiterating it. We already know. Next up, we've got another Hammer film that I've never watched. Curse of the Werewolf. You bought it and you didn't watch it, Chad. You're a piece of shit. So is your mother. Next up, Cyborg. What's this? What's that? 1989. Jean-Claude Van Damme cheesy times. Next up, we've got Dark Man. Really enjoy Dark Man. I have the sequels that I'll show later, but why did I mention that? We're not talking about the sequels yet. Guess what? Haven't watched them either. Dark Man, Collector's Edition. Kind of gives you the Batman Returns vibe. If you don't feel that way, then your fucking mom's vagina has athlete's foot. You know what I mean? Next up, Dawn of the Dead, 2003 remake. Is it 2003, Chad? Make sure you get the years right. If you say the year's wrong, people are going to make fun of you. 2004. See? People are in the comments typing right now saying, he said it was 2003. He's a fucking stupid ass. This movie's dope. I actually like it better than the original. And it's okay to think differently. Contrary to what the internet tells you. Day of the Dead. This one's great. It's $365 if you want to get right here with the slipcover now. Luckily, I didn't pay that much. 1985. Love Bub. Bub the Zombie's great in that. Next up, another early on Scream Factory from 1981, Deadly Blessing, Wes Craven. I dig it. It's a weird one. Got a bit of a sleepaway camp type of a twist ending, but Ernest Borgnine, R.I.P. Next up, Dead Ringers. This movie's, I mean, watching this movie and watching Paint Dry is the same thing. Moving on. Death Becomes Her, Robert Zemeckis. Did you do this, Robert Zemeckis? You sure did. Bruce Willis is in it. Uh, Meryl Streep's in it. Goldie Hawn's in it. I love Goldie Hawn, especially in Overboard. Bruce Willis is the man until the movies he's making now. This movie's ridiculous, but it's fun. Dog Soldiers. You know what else is it? You know what else has dog in it? This transfer. Dog shit. Good movie though. You might as well watch the fucking VHS version before you watch the Blu-ray on that. Next up, we've got Dolls. This is another one that's expensive as um, as you know. I guess hamburger meat or something, whatever. I think they hacked something else with the hamburger meat now in the world. The world's ending. 1981, 1987. Dolls. It's a stupid ass horror movie about dolls. I mean, it's fun. Next up, Dracula. Have I watched it yet? Absolutely not. This cover's not the most endearing cover ever um, with Frank Langella. 1979. Frank Langella can do no wrong to me because he's in Brain Scan. So I don't give a shit if that movie's terrible. He didn't, he was in Brain Scan. That gets a pass forever because it's one of the greatest films of all time. Next up, Drag Me to Hell. Sam Raimi. I think it's okay. I'm not um, super on the nuts of this movie like a lot of people are in 2009. I mean, it's cool. It's nothing great to me, but it's cool. Next up, we've got another Hammer movie. I hadn't watched it. Dracula, Prince of Darkness. Christopher Lee, 1966. It was 17 years before I was born. That's what I have to say about that movie. Dreamscape. Eight, the 1980s version of damn near of uh, Inception. That's a, like a loose comparison, but 1984. Dennis Quaid's in it, man. What, what do you want from me? Next up, we've got the we've got the titty, the entity, aka Ghost Rape. Um, probably won't be able to monetize this video. 1983. This movie's okay, but it's about ghost raping. Next up, this movie is fucking terrible. It was um, one of those buy two, get one. I got it for free in one of the Amazon or Target sales. John Carpenter, I don't know why he made this. I know why they paid him. 1996, this movie is terrible. Terrible ass movie. Escape from New York, though, Firewater. Even though it doesn't have a slip cover, and it's, I'd be better off throwing it in the fucking street without a slip cover on it. But this is another John Carpenter classic, 1981. Everybody knows Escape from New York's awesome, and if you feel differently than that, well, then we just can't be friends ever. Event Horizon is next up. This one, um, I haven't watched this one in a long, long time. I saw it 
golly, this movie came out in, what, 97? I may have saw it early 2000s, right after high school. I remember bits and pieces I haven't got a chance to watch since I got the Blu-ray. I think this one's, like, hard to find already, which is weird because it hadn't been out long, but 1997. You also got Sam Neill and Lawrence Fishburne in it. Furious Styles, damn it. No! <laughs> ask me if I've watched it. Ask me. I dare you to ask me if I've watched this. What is it even called? The Evil of Frankenstein? I mean, what are you doing, Chad? 1964. 19 years before I was on this earth. I wasn't even in... My my mom and dad weren't even together yet when that movie came out. You know what I'm saying? That's how old that shit is. And I ain't watched it. Exorcist 2 The Heretic? Fucking horrible. Exorcist 2 The Horrible is what they should have called this. Um, 1977? It's terrible, man. I mean, what do you want? Exorcist 3? This one actually is better than... Two for sure. Um, I haven't watched all the Exorcist films. I've seen one, two, three. I think I've seen. I don't know what goes involved goes into all of them as far as which what are connected. In that box set, I think the beginning. I don't remember. If, I don't remember. That Exorcist three is good. I guess. Next up, this one is good. Firestarter. Drew Barrymore. A little youngster in the building, 1984. I was a year old. I'm old as white dog shit. Shout out to Worm, rest in peace. Next up, Hammer Horror. Haven't watched it. Frankenstein created woman. Who gives a shit? 19 what? 1967. 16 years before I came into this earth. From Beyond. This one's dope. H.P. Lovecraft, body horror. Love it. If you're a big fan of Reanimator, you'll dig this one. Um, gets really gross at times, 1986, but I dig it. Next up, we've got The Fun House, one of the very first Screen Factory Collector's Editions, Toby Hooper, 1981. Y'all know that I'm a big 1981 film fan, uh, horror movie fan. If you don't know that, if you don't know, now you know. You know very well who you are. Go ship. The, the first scene's good. The rest of the movie, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it can go fuck itself. Right the fuck off. But... I mean, whatever. All right, new clip, because I almost dropped every movie that I owned. Ginger Snaps. This is a solid, like, uh, I was fixing to say a solid Wolverine film. A solid werewolf film from the 2000. Taking over the 9-9 and a 2000. Shout out to Juvenile 400 Degrees. Next up, Eli Roth, Green Inferno. This movie's really dope, but then at times there's scenes where a dude's jerking his gherkin in the middle of just a, of, of a horrible, like, hostage situation it makes no sense but green inferno has got some cool parts next up halloween 2 i freaking love halloween 2 halloween 2 is freaking awesome i said freaking a lot let's change that to fucking halloween 3 season of the witch and it comes in this nice little blu-ray condom shout out to my buddy pal what year is this shit 1982 hey guys i hate it i hate it because it has nothing to do with the rest of the halloween films who cares this movie's fucking awesome. It's fucking awesome. Awesome, guys. Next up, Hell Night. Big old titty teaser. There's an Australian chick that's blind in this movie. She's super hot. She teases she's going to show her titties. She never shows them. I can't get down with the movie. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. Hell Night's cool. House of... House of... What? House on Haunted Hill? Eh! Not really good, especially the ending. Horrible ending. Next up, one of the best werewolf films in the world, except for Teen Wolf, The Howling. Great transformation scenes. Really good movie, man. Next up is Idle Hands. I mean, it's okay. it's all right. No, it's not, Chad. It's not good. Okay. Next up, In the Mouth of Madness, John Carpenter. Really underrated John Carpenter film, I feel like. Um, 90s, 95, so you have like the Metallica-style like score. On it, I think it's dope. Sam Neill does a good job in it. It's got some creepy parts to it. Next up, another one in one of these Blu-ray condoms. Jeepers Creepers. These are $6,000. I don't have part two because it's like $84 just for the movie. But I have the little two-pack that I'll show you later. Spoiler alert. 2001. I'm a fan of Jeepers Creepers and Jeepers Creepers too. Definitely not a fan of the fact that the director's a goddamn pedophile. Can't get down with that. What's that? Hammer Horror! Da, 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 da. Haven't watched it. What year is it? What year is it? Come on, come on. 1963. Kiss of the Vampire. Wouldn't know if it's worth a shit or not. Hadn't watched it. Lake Placid. Next up on the list here. 
1999 in the 2000s. Juvenile making another comeback. The movie's terrible, but it's a lot of fun. Land of the Dead. Doesn't have a slip cover. Shut your mouth. It doesn't matter. George Romero. I, I do like this one. Um, John Leguizamo. It's kind of annoying at parts in this movie, but I really do dig the movie, though. This one and Dawn of the Dead both. I'm glad they put those out on screen. Next up, we've got Lawnmower Man. This isn't as boring as Dead Ringers, but it's it's close. It's got some cool parts at times, but it's way too long. And Pierce Brosnan's in it. That's Jordan, the Viz's favorite actor. Jordan hates him. Life Force. Lots of titty, tons of titties, tot. But kind of a boring movie. I think it's fifteen thousand dollars with the slipcover now. So next up, Clive Barker, Lord of Illusions. I've tried watching this movie multiple times, man. It's just I hadn't even finished it either time. It's just kind of it's just kind of dull to me, but I don't know. Maybe at one point I'll finish it. Who cares? I'm not probably going to watch it. Misery. This one's dope. You got good old James Kahn. You got Kathy Bates. She's terrifying in that movie. Really good movie. Another one that I dig. Most people don't, but it's kind of just a poor man's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Motel Hill. Um, 1980. I like this one, man. A lot of people kind of shit on it, but it's not great. But I had fun with it. This one is freaking awesome. Really glad they put this one out in 1981, My Bloody Valentine. Um, this is the... There's the theoretical version and the uncut version. And we say theoretical on purpose. I know it's theatrical. Stop telling me I'm saying it wrong. I'm not. Theoretical is the way to say it. Nightbreed. This one's... I put this in my, slip, in my collector's editions. It's technically not if you want to be a Scream Factory... Um, cock swallower and say that uh oh well it's not a collector's edition well okay it is to me and it matters to me 1990 not when that song came out when that movie came out it's cool it's got a good old-fashioned um what's dude's name craig sheffer from the program but more importantly from one tree hill night of the comet eh, this is okay like a sci-fi 80s sci-fi film 1984 it's cool. Okay, what are we gonna do here? Uh, all right, here we go. Night of the Creeps. This movie's terrible, and I love uh, um, Jason Lively solely from his performance as Rusty in European Vacation. He's so terrible in that movie that I, it's endearing, kind of. This movie's terrible, though. The only thing good about this movie is Tom Atkins. Fucking. Mr. Jugglesworth over here. Night of the Demons, one of my favorite 80s horror films, period. It has everything. Great acting, naked women, lots of gore, fun. It's what you need to do. This movie's terrible, but I have fun with this one too. Ninja 3 Domination. The fact that they re-released that as a collector's edition proves Scream Factory is running out of ideas. Next up, Brian De Palma Obsession. Ask me if I've watched it. Nope. Haven't. Not saying it's not good. I just haven't watched it. People Under the Stairs, Wes Craven. This is not his best. Um, I do like it, though. It's got some... I'm just stuttering all over myself. 1991. I do not do drugs, either, if that's what you're wondering. Totally sober. This is how I am sober. Deal with it. Next up, Pet Cemetery 2. Not near as good as the first, but way better than the remake. I thought the remake was dog shit. Next up, Hammer Horror Alert, HHA, um, uh, uh, 1962, we've got Phantom of the Opera, Chad Arms bought that, Jordan's shaking his head at me as he watches this, next up, Phantasm 2, got it at McKay's, um, I don't really like this one that much, man, I love the original. Part two, I think that they, they focus so much on Reg, man. There's not enough tall man. You know what I mean? I got a fever, and the only cure for that fever is more tall man. And you get more tall man later on in the series, but the series is so convoluted, bro. And I know what that means, I think. I think it means confusing and too bloated. And I know all about being bloated. Phantasm 2, eh. Next up, Phantom of the Paradise. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I've seen this movie and I liked it. It's really weird. 1974. I liked it. I can't believe I'm saying that. Poltergeist 3. I've seen Poltergeist 2 and 3. 2 is out of print and it's like 70 something bucks. Not happening. We just won't we just won't have it. 
We just won't have it. I'm not spending that money on that movie. Three's cool. Two's cool. I mean, I like uh, the first one's a classic. Two and three are okay. Next up, they're starting to put out 4Ks of the collector's editions, but it's only been two so far. One of them is this one, Prince of Darkness. This one is it's not his best work. It does have some cool parts in it, but it's just got a lot of uh, dull moments. But it does have some dope like scenes as well. And it's Sean Carpenter, so I still dig it to an extent. It's cool. It, look, the 4K transfer does look better than the Blu-ray. Not by a lot, but it does look better. Next up is Prison. Vigo Mortensen got a tiny lister in this too. Rest in peace, Debo. It's pretty fun. It's not that great of a movie, but it's fun to watch. This one, one of my favorite horror sequels, period. Psycho 2. So, so good, man. So good. Love that one. This one as well. Psycho 3. think this one's really dope too. If you're a fan of the first Psycho, which, I mean, I haven't even seen that one all the way through, but I love 2 and 3. So if you have, if you like two and you haven't watched three yet, definitely give three a shot because it's it's dope, man. Next up, we've got Pumpkinhead, classic creature feature, Lance Hendrickson, uh, 1988. Uh, next up, we've got David Cronenberg again, Rabid. This one's got some cool spots in it, but it's another one that's kind of slow. It's not near as slow and bull and bull, dull and boring as the twin one, 1977. Dead Ringer is what I meant to say. The the horror aficionados are watching this and hating every minute of it. Next up, we've got Raising Cain. This is a solid one, man. This is a suspense thriller. Brian De Palma, uh, John Lithgow, and Lolita Davidovich. What a name. What's your name, sweetie? Lolita Davidovich. Huh? Na huh? 1992. Solid movie. Sam. Solid ass movie. Next up, we've got Return of the Living Dead. Classic 80s horror, man. Um, one of my favorites from the 80s, 1985. As well as the sequel, man. I love the sequel, Return of the Living Dead 2, 1988. The guy, this guy is one of the most annoying characters in any movie ever. 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 He's the most annoying ever. Return of the Living Dead 2. Both dope. Next up, we've got Road Games. Haven't watched this all the way through yet. Fight Me, 1981. Good old-fashioned uh, Stacy Keach and Jamie Lee Curtis. Next up, we've got the outstanding made movies. Robo, uh, Robo, Robo, well, I just turned French. Robocop 2. This one's solid, but this one is the worst of the worst. Robocop 3 is so awful. 2 was 1990. 3 was 93. 2 doesn't have the slipcover. 3 does for those that care. Next up, we've got Serial Mom. This one's weird, but it's got cool parts to it. I do like it. It's 90s, like, it's like a 90s horror comedy, 1994. John Waters film. Next up, we've got Serpent in the Rainbow. Another one from Wes Craven, man. Um, uh, anything that does, has to do with voodoo and stuff, I'm not the biggest fan of. This one's okay. It's nothing outstanding, though. 1987, Bill Pullman. Maybe because he's vanilla paste as far as acting. Maybe that's why I don't like it as much. This one's terrible, but I like it, man. It's terrible, though. Did y'all hear me? It's terrible. <gasps> Peter Berg stars in it. This is before he was making all those dope-ass movies with Mark Wahlberg, but this movie's not good, but it's fun to me. Uh, 1989. Shaka. Not talking about that either. Two in the pink, one in the sting, or vice versa. It's a free country. Silent Hill. This one's okay. I wasn't the biggest fan of this like everybody else was. It kind of drags at, at times, 2006. Next up, Silent Night, Deadly Night. Classic 80s cheese, man. Love this one. Um, 1984, Warm Side of the Door, one of the greatest songs in the history of, of film. And then I got this one for free and one of the buy two get ones. That's the only reason I would have gotten it because it's such a terrible movie. Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. It's beyond... Words can't even describe how awful it is, really. Um, I'm trying to figure out when it came out, but who gives a fuck? Next up, we've got Silver Bullet. I'm a fan of this one, man. A lot of people aren't. You got Corey Haim. Uh, this, you know... You've also got uh, Gary Busey in this too. So the effects in it aren't the greatest, but I enjoy Silver Bullet, man. Next up, we got the Sleepaway Camp Trilogy. Got part one. Love it. 
Got part two. Love it. Love all three of the sleepaway camps. Super Cheese Fest. And no, I'm not selling my sleepaway camps. If anybody's asking. Because that sleepaway camps with slip covers are like fucking gold bars in the Blu-ray community, apparently. But no, I'm not selling them. Next up, we've got Slither. This is a cool one, like a body horror. It's not great. You get old fucking, is it Merle from Walking Dead in it? I think that was his name. Who knows? Sleepwalkers. This one's bad, man, but I, I enjoy it. It's got some really cheesy parts, though. 1992. Stephen King. Based on Stephen King. You got Species. Tons of titties. Um, this is the stuff you used to stay up late night after Monday Night Raw in USA to try to see. Shit like this. Those were the days. Next up, we've got Starman. Didn't even finish Starman. I can't lie to you. I tried to watch it because I'm a John Carpenter, you know, big fan. Just didn't really like it, man. It's just boring. It's, it's cheesy. Um, it's so boring that me talking about it, my brother's intentionally driving the mower close to the camera um, so you can drum out my talking about Starman. Next up, we've got Strangers. Really dig this one. Strangers Part 2. Could have been amazing, but the last 15 minutes made me hate that movie. Next up, we've got Tales from the Crypt, Demon Knight. Um, I dig this one. I dig this one better than I dig uh, Bordello of Blood. Um, I do like Bordello of Blood, too. Tons of titties in that one as well. Next up, we've got Tales from the Dark Side. I haven't watched this one yet. Heard good things about it, though. Um, so, yeah. 1990. Almost done with the uh, collector's editions. Tales from the Hood, straight classic, man. Cheese Fest, 1995. Hood horror film, just can't go wrong with it, man. Teen Wolf, my favorite movie of all time. There is no better movie in the world than Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf is the best movie, period. Teen Wolf 2, got it as one of the free ones. It is the worst movie of all time. So, the best movie of all time, followed by the sequel, which is the worst film ever. Terror Train, really dig this one. I think this one's out of print. It's got another release to another company, though. I dig it. 1980. I dig it so much that I almost buried it. Um, Texas uh, Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. This is another that's like a gold bar. Will never in my life sell this one. Love it. Love it. Love it. Some people have problems with Texas Chainsaw Part 2. They just went in a different direction with it, man. I thought it was great. It's got some cheesy parts on it, but it's also scary as shit at times. Leatherface is weird as fuck in it, but he's great. And you got, you know... Um, what's his name? Lick my plate, you dog, dick. God, why am I freaking drawing a blank, bro? I have CTE, I think. Chop Top. Bill Mosley. Damn it. Texas Chainsaw. That's why I was drawing a blank. Because I was fixing up to talk about this pile of dog shit. The movie's terrible. And I own it. What does that say about my character? Next up, 4K of They Live. Not my favorite John Carpenter flick, but I still dig it. The best fight scene of all time, Roddy Piper and Keith David. The Thing, one of my favorite Carpenter films. Love it. Hopefully that'll be a next to get a 4K. Uh, we've got 13 Ghost. This has got some cool parts here and there, but it's it's kind of a rough one. 2001. It was that early 2000, late 90s horror you know, wave. Trick or Treat, great anthology horror, man. Uh, 2007, really dig that one. Next up, we've got Urban Legend. I do like Urban Legend. The sequels are, are rough, man. I watched all of them. I have them all in my voodoo, and they're rough. But I dig the first one. Now, this is another one that came out in the uh, the wave of the you know the screams and the know what you did last summers and stuff like that. Next up, we've got Valentine. Same thing. This one's not all that great, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's got a couple of cool kills, but 2001, nothing nothing too great about Valentine. Vampires, another uh, John Carpenter flick. I dig it. James Woods, gr uh, goodness here. 1998 That's when this one came out. Next up, we've got Vice Squad. Have not watched it. It's got dust on it. And next, and last but not least, well, last but kind of least, Village of the Damned, one of my least favorite Carpenter films. Um, Kirstie Alley. Eh, it's just kind of boring, man, to be honest with you. But... Those are my collector's editions. I'm going to put all of them back on the shelf. And then we're going to go through all the other shit. Also got box sets to show you too. <laughs> Alright, we're back guys. Have y'all left yet? Box, ah! box set time. 
Critters Collection. One, two, three, and four. Critters one and two are great. Three's okay. Four is horrible. Next up, we've got the Fly Collection. Ask me if I've watched any of these. I've seen the one with Jeff Goldblum. Other than that, never watched another one. Next up, we've got two of the Holy Grail box sets. We've got the Friday the 13th Complete Collection, which is super, super dope and tricked out, man. Really great set to have. Still on sale for like 100 bucks, 110 bucks, man. Definitely worth getting. And the box set that people are selling their souls to the devil for, and I have dust on mine. That just shows what kind of a douchebag I am. Halloween Complete Collection. Um, all, all the films, such a great set. It's crazy that it's hadn't been re-released or anything. But we're not even going to edit. We're going to let y'all watch me put these back on the shelf. Rest in peace, worm. Um, so, yeah. Scream Factory collection time, guys. Moving along. It's a live trilogy. Hadn't even opened it. Whoops. Next up, we've got the Omen Complete Collection. Um, I've seen part, I haven't seen this whole series, but I've seen the original and I've seen the remake. I haven't watched the rest of them. At some point we will, hopefully before I die, I'll watch them. Wreck Collection. Um, I have a very steam, uh, very vivid recollection of the Wreck Collection. It's fucking amazing. The first two are amazing. Um, let me take a sip of water, man. This is getting ridiculous. Thirsty, Chad? Where are we at? Okay. These are the, um, just the other ones that aren't collector's editions. We're going to go through these, and after that, we'll go over the whatever's left. I don't know. 68 Kill. No comment. Haven't watched it. Abandoned. Jason Patrick. Haven't watched it. Um, I mean, I, I would, I don't want to lie. After Midnight. Do like this one. It's an anthology. Uh, it's an anthology. Dug it. Alien Outpost, still sealed. I've seen parts of this back in the day when it first came out. I got it back on, uh, this is probably the sixth or seventh time I bought it. I got it, um, it was at McKay's on one of our trips. Next up, Ambition. Um, trailer for this one looked cool. This is from 2019. Um, I hadn't watched it yet again. I'm going to try to start getting back into watching uh, films now that I've kind of slowed down with the music stuff. I've been so busy the last three months. I'm still doing that. That's what I do for a living now, so i I, I got to stay busy enough to keep money going, but um, I'll have time to start watching more movies. Ambulance. This one's dope, man. This has got Eric Roberts in it. This has got some really creepy parts, too. I like I like Ambulance. Ambulance. Um, next up, we've got Anti Anti-Birth. I watched this on Netflix, and it was entertaining enough for me to buy it. I mean, it's nothing great. Sorry about that, guys. Got a phone call. Last we left off was Anti-Birth. Natasha Leone from the American Pie movies. This one was cool. It's kind of a fucked up film, though. Next up, American Gothic. I actually have a movie review for this on my channel, randomly enough. I dug this one, man. It's a weird one. Uh, the acting's awful in it, but it's a, it's a good, like, I think it's a Canadian horror film from 88. Next up, really dug this one. Autopsy of Jane Doe. Uh, one of the best IFC Midnight collabos they've done, I feel like. Um, let's see. Where we're at. Make sure I don't get out of line here. Next up, we've got The Axe Murders of Velisca. The trailer for this looked a lot better than the movie actually was. Uh, it was cool. It was nothing special, though. It, it's a, I think it's on Hulu. If y'all want to check it out on there, but... The trailer made it look a lot doper than it actually was to me. But next up we have the battery. This is a cool like post-apocalyptic type film, independent release from 2013. It was cool. Then we've got see some of these are out of order. Fuck. Boom. The Babadook. Babadook. Babu Babadook. Do 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 I don't know what it's called. Babadook. More like a suspense psychological film. Got some creepy-ass parts in it, though. 
I love this creature feature, man. Backcountry. Good, good shit right there. Terrifying. That's what that is. Bad Moon. Dug this one as well. 1996. All right? Yep, 96. That was a dope one. Baskin. This one's really, really messed up. It's like a foreign version of like Hostel and Hellraiser. I dug it, but it's weird, man. It's weird. Next, we've got Beast Within. <laughs> I like my mate Raya. That's the quote I'll say from that. The movie's not good to me, though. Transformation scene's cool. This movie was dog shit. Beneath. I don't even know why I still have it. Beyond the Gates. This one was okay, man. I watched it with the Triple Flicks Mafia uh, a couple years back on Netflix. But we were shooting the shit and making fun of each other like we normally do. And I rewatched it. It was all right. It wasn't anything special, though. Next up, these I just bought because they were going to sell out really quick. I'll probably never open it. The Big Bust Out, uh, 1973. No clue. I think it's like a women's prison movie, probably. The Binding. This looks That looks amazing. Um, Bite. Actually did like this. Was hoping it would be way doper. But it did have some cool parts, and it was really tough to watch at times, too. Had some gross parts in it. Dug this one, Bloodsucking Bastards. It's like a comedy uh, horror, but it's cool. And Body Parts with Jeff Fahey. I really, really like that one, man. Um, messed up movie, dude, but I, I liked it a lot. I thought he killed it, too. My dog just freaks out. My brother's mowing, dude. It's so funny. Bones. Um, Snoop Dogg, classic cheese. It's so great they put it out on Blu-ray. Bound to Vengeance, another one that I haven't watched yet. I think it's like a rape revenge type movie. Um, kind of reminded me of like um, I know uh, um, I sleep on your grave, or I piss on your grave, or shit on your grave, whatever it's called. I spit on your grave is what it's called, Chad. The Boy. Weird one about a crazy kid. The Brain. Haven't watched that one yet. It looks like it may be ridiculous, but fun. One of my favorite movies of all time. It should have gotten a collector's edition. I love it, though. Brain Scan. Frank Langella. Fucking um, Edward Furlong. Greatness. Great 90s horror film, man. Love it. All of those are fixing to fall. Cabin Fever remake. No clue why they remade a movie 12 years after the other one came out. Camp Coldbrook. Could have been really cool, man, but it, was, it, it wasn't cool. Shout out to Chad Michael Murray and all his One Tree Hill greatness, but Candyman, Farewell to the Flesh. I need to watch that one. I haven't watched that one yet. The Car. Good old school, like ridiculous horror movie, but it's I like it, man. It's it's old school and I said old school like six times, but let's go over there somewhere. Next up we've got Carnage Park. This one was cool. Um, watched it with the guys one night on a hangout. It was a cheap one off Hamilton book. Centigrade. This one's pretty cool too. It's just a claustrophobic type horror film where they're just stuck underneath, you know, in their car, frozen. Pretty crazy. Next up, Cherry Falls. Another one that came out in the early 2000s, late 90s. Actually, the year 2000, R.I.P. Brittany Murphy. It was cool. I liked it. The Chosen. Have not watched this. I bought a ton of these Scream Factory, Shout Factory releases during those sales, those buy two, get ones, and those big sales they were doing um, right around um, stimulus time. So I just loaded up on a bunch of them while they were cheap. I've heard good things about The Chosen, though. Clove Hitch Killer. I like this one. Um, is it Dylan McDermott? Yeah, and, and this one. It's a movie about a serial killer, and it's kind of one of those deals where you, you don't know if they're going to figure out what really happened. But... Cockneys vs. Zombies. This one's hilarious. Really really well done movie. The Crush. Alicia Silverstone. Um, it's cool. I mean, it's nothing, it's nothing great. The Cured. This one was okay, man. It Just another zombie movie with Ellen... Not Ellen Page. I think it's Elliot Page now. Uh, sure. Um, Dark Angel. Great cheese, Dolph Lundgren. Next up, Dark Hall. Horrible. Definitely going to sell that one. Next up, Dark Man 2. The Return of Durant. Shout out to Durant Cinema. And Dark Man 3. Die, Dark Man, Die. Haven't watched these yet, obviously. Get Jeff Fahey in Part 3. I'm sure they're amazing. Next up, you get Dark Song. 
this one was okay, but the idea was dope. It just drug on, man, it felt like. But Darkness Rising, um, haven't watched it yet. Dead Room, rough one. Rough one. Um, rough one. We'll just say that. Dark Summer, haven't watched that one yet either, I don't think. Dead Souls, eh, no, we, that was a weak one too. That was a chiller films release. Dead Time Stories, Anthology, very bad anthology, but some of it's it's fun, but it's rough. It's a rough. Okay, Death Valley, classic. Good old Ralphie from Christmas Story. Death Wish Two, super dope movie. Very tough to watch. Extremely rapey. Deep in the Darkness. Um, I dug this one, man. This was a chiller film. A lot of the chiller collabs aren't really that good, but I thought that one was. Demented, haven't watched that yet. Depraved, really dope take on the Frankenstein story. Um, it's on Hulu, too. I suggest y'all give that a shot. It's, it was really good. Now, I'm not really the biggest fan of Larry Fessenden movies, but that one was really good. Another one that was super dope, man. Devil's Candy, great, great movie. Awesome score, too. Devil's Dolls. This one's good. I'm like the only person on earth that likes this movie, though, I think. Everybody else hates it. Devil's Gate. Eh. It was all right. It was a super cheap one on Hamilton book. Um, what does that say? Doctor and the Devils. Doctor of the Devils. 1985. Haven't watched it yet. Next up, we got Don't Knock Twice. Um... I remember vaguely watching this a few years back and then I forgot that I watched it. So I watched it, started to watch it again and turned it off because I remember it wasn't good. The editor, uh, I don't like that one as much as everybody else does, man. I mean, it's got some cool parts, but the acting in it's really bad though. Elizabeth Harvest, haven't watched that yet. That was a either Hamilton book or, or McKay's. Ejecta, looks like a really cool idea for a movie. I just haven't got a chance to get to see it. You're going to see that's the that's the trend for most of these. The Evictors. Put that on Blu-ray. It was a part of that DVD combo with uh, Town the Dreaded Sundown. Evil. I dug this one. You got, um, what's his name? Uh, Richard Crenna. Yeah, classic. It's about a haunted house movie. Really dated, but I liked it. Evolution. Just got this one in recently. Um, trailer looks really dope for that one, too. Exterminator 2, I was just racking up on Scream Factory, Shout Factory stuff from Hamilton because it's so cheap. I haven't watched that yet. Extraterrestrial, I dig this one. I think I did a review for that one too. The Fan, heard pretty good things about it, but I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Let's get these organized here. I know Valen, I know Valen. Fear No Evil rough really awkward male on male like shower scene too that was super weird fender bender that if that movie was executed 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 right it could have been amazing it had a really dope plot and the score was cool but they just kind of dropped the ball in another few areas but i still like it though feral haven't watched that one yet final exam cool slasher no plot at all. It just starts with the guy killing people in the college. Final Terror. I like that one. It's another one that a lot of people don't like. Frankenstein and the Marster. Mar Marster? Monster from Hell. Ask me if I've watched it. Frankenstein, the true story. Ask me if I've watched it. You know the answer. From a whisper to a scream, I do like this one. The last story I really don't care for, but the other two or three, I can't remember if it's three or four, but all the stories I liked but the last one. Funhouse Massacre, another one that could have been executed better, and it could have been really dope, but Ghost Story, haven't watched that one yet. Ghost Stories, did watch that one. Liked it. Very confusing at times, though, but I did like it. Um, the House on, House on Willow Street, haven't watched that one yet. House That Jack Built, really dope movie. Um, Lar is it Lars Van Trier? Von Trier? Gets really odd at the end, but apparently that's how that that dude operates. So, 1971. I haven't watched this, but the trailer looks pretty cool for an old 70s horror. House that dripped blood. I am fear. Another one that I haven't watched. This all was really cheap stuff on eBay and stuff. I'll take your dad. This one was dope. 
Really dope one. Um, just that came out, I think, 2018. And Seminoid, odd one. Um, like a sci-fi. Dated, but I liked it. Graveyard Shift. I really like this one, man. I'm glad they put this on Scream Factory. Stephen King there. And then Gravy. Haven't watched it. Heard it was really bad. Really bad. The Guardian. It's about a tree. The Hollow. The Hollow. I really like this one, man. I first watched it on Netflix. I don't think it's on there anymore. Definitely worth grabbing. I don't know if you can find the slip for it anymore, but the movie itself is really good. Good creature feature. Hell Hole. The Hills Run Red. Cool that they put this out on Blu-ray. We watched it out when we all had the DVD uh, a while back. Horror of Frankenstein. I bet you know the answer if I've watched it or not. The Horror Show. Haven't watched it. It's um, I heard it's the third installment in the House series. I think I just turned on the TV. Who cares? Chuck Norris Invasion USA. Cheese Fest. The Island with Michael K. Trap, I Trapped the Devil. Liked that one, man. A lot of people didn't, but I did. It all takes place in one house. That's it. Itsy Bitsy. Spiders are terrifying. Jackals. Pretty much a stranger's ripoff, but I liked it. Jack's Back. Dug that one. Good old James Spader. See, the Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2. Two-pack. I went ahead and got that because I didn't know if I'd ever come across the other two collector's editions for reasonable price. I got part one from Paul, but two is just too expensive, man. So I'll just run with that. Killing Ground, that one's cool too. The Legacy with old Sam Elliott. I could have gone without seeing Sam Elliott's ass cheeks in that movie, but hey, what are you going to do? The Legend of Hell House, um, 1973. I've heard good things about that one, but I just hadn't, I hadn't got a chance to watch it yet. The Lesson, another one that I dig. Let's Scare Jessica to Death, one from 71 that I've heard good things about. I just haven't watched it yet. Low Life. Um, like an independent, like Spanish version of like Pulp Fiction. I think it's cool. Man's Best Friend. Good old uh, Ali Sheedy and Lance Henriksen. Got another one of uh, Memoirs of, of an Invisible Man with Chevy Chase and Daryl Hannah. John Carpenter directed it. I have not watched that one, but I've wanted to give it a shot. It was one of the free ones too. The Midnight Man. Another one that's got some cool scenes, but nothing outstanding. Uh, missing in action, another Chuck Norris goodie. Oh, we're getting there, I think. Monkey's Paw. I liked it, man. The acting's bad, but I like the story. I thought it was cool. The Nest, good creature feature. Nightmares, dope um, anthology. Night of the Lepus, haven't watched it yet. It looks really bad, though. Nomads, another one that I got cheap. Um, Nosferatu with Klaus Kinski. I have not watched this one yet. 1979. And Orca, the Killer Whale. I need to watch this one. Tony was saying good things about it. I need to go ahead and watch it soon. Our House, the trailer on that looks dope. Kind of has a Stranger Things vibe. The Pack, another Hamilton book cheap one. Piranha, that's a dope one. Roger Corman. Piranha 2. Um, James Cameron has something to do with that one, but he doesn't want anybody to know it, I don't think. Relic. That one's cool, man. Like I said, I watched it a second time and liked it a little bit more. Um, but it was another one that kind of just drug a little bit. But it was cool. The Rental. I liked The Rental too, man. Uh, Dave Franco uh, directed that one. Rent a Pal. Really creepy one, dude. But I liked it. The Resurrected with Chris Sarandon. Another one that I enjoyed. I think that was like 1990 or late 80s. The deal that I'm trying to do is balance these without them falling on camera. Rust Creek. Parts of it were cool. Other parts of it was kind of just... Uh. And then I got the Scream Queen uh, double feature with the Fog and the Howling. I don't think I have the Fog Collector's Edition because it's in my 4Ks. I have the 4K of it from like Studio Canal. The Sentinel. Dope one. Slow paced, but dope. A lot of big actors in there when they were younger. Slumber Party Massacre. Love that one. Ravenous. Raw. Heard great things about this one, but it's another one that I haven't... Guess what? I haven't gotten around to seeing it. Y'all are probably tired of me hearing that, saying that. The Pledge. It has some cool parts to it, too. It's nothing outstanding. It was an IFC from, I think, 2018 or 19. Poughkeepsie Tapes. 
Me and Jordan really dig this one. It's super uncomfortable to watch, but I love that style of stuff. Um, the Prophecy, I like this one too. The effects in it were really bad though. Uh, Psycho 4, haven't got around to seeing Psycho 4. I've heard bad things about it, to be honest. Um, and I don't know why I still have this movie. This movie's awful, and I've just never gotten around to selling it. I could have swore I sold it, and I know I didn't buy it again. Pie whack it. The movie's terrible. It's going to go in my sell pile for sure. Nothing happens the whole movie. Nothing. Nothing happened. Rabid. This is the Rabid remake, which I need to watch since I've got the original. And Rabid Dogs. So we'll get to the rest of this. Let me get these put back on the shelf, and I'll get to the rest of it and finish out the video for you. All right. Let's get this last little stretch going. Um, and for anybody that thinks I'm trying to make fun of stuff, I'm just trying to make this an entertaining video. Obviously, I love horror movies. I love Scream Factory. I've spent hundreds, hundreds of dollars over the years, thousands of dollars over the years on Scream Factory. I'm just trying to make the video entertaining. Um, I'm going to eventually at least watch these once. If I don't like them, I can always sell them. But I don't want people to think that I'm just trying to make, make this a mockery video because I'm not. I'm just trying to be entertaining. Someone's watching me liked this one. This was a television, a made for TV movie directed by Carpenter, 78. Really dug it, man. Uh, granted, it didn't have any gore or anything because it's made for TV, but it was cool. Another one that I liked, I did a review for this one, The Soul Collector, 2020. Creepy ass movie, man. The creature in it was really creepy. I said creepy a lot. The Spell, another one that I got from um, Hamilton Book, haven't watched it yet. Sputnik, I only have about eight or nine movies so far that I've watched in 2021. That'll end up being a hundred and something because that's how I do by the end of the year. But I thought this one was outstanding, man. Really, really solid movie, man. Check that one out. Sputnik, really effective one. Uh, Strays, I can't remember if I've watched this. I haven't watched it recently. I can't remember if I've seen it over the years. I don't think that I have. 1991, I can't remember if it was a Stray, if it was a made for TV movie too. Can't remember. Creature feature shit though. I like those. Speaking of that, Stung. This one's ridiculous. The gore in it's great. Really entertaining movie. Next one with a condom on it. Got it from Viz. Submerged. He said it was shoe shoe. But I had to grab it. We'll see if it's shoe shoe. I'm sure it is. Shalute. Shalute. Salute to the Viz. Superstition. Another one that he said was pretty shoe shoe. I got this as part of one of those Target deals or Amazon deals. 1982. Next up, Swallow. This trailer looked interesting to say the least. 2020 film, haven't watched it yet. Another one was John Barenthal that I've heard really good things about called Sweet Virginia. I think it's like a suspense thriller. Tank 432, another one that was either McKay's or um, Hamilton book, 2016 release. Next up is Terror in the Isles. Heard this is like a... Um, yeah, it says it's the coaster ride through the most terrifying moments of over 70 Hollywood's greatest chillers. Donald Pleasance and Nancy Allen are the host. That'll be dope to watch, man. I'll have to check that out soon. 1984. Next up, Town That Dreaded Sundown. Slow-paced movie. Kind of boring at parts, but I did like I liked it overall. The remake's actually pretty cool, too. It tried to get a little too cute at the end, I felt like, but... Trespassers. This was okay. It's basically like a cheap... It's like another version of strangers or or the one i showed earlier uh, it's just one of those kind of invasion movies you're next it's just kind of one of those things you kind of have the movie play, you already know the ending of the movie like really early and i'm not good at usually finding out the endings but i knew pretty easily twice dead really liked this one this is one of those limited releases i'm glad i picked it up because it's sold out now 1988 thought this one was awesome man really liked it the, the, the little street gang in this was ridiculous, by the way. Next up, The Unborn with Brooke Adams. Haven't watched it. 1991 flick. And we've got Virus. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis film from 1999. Haven't watched it. Next up, uh, When a Stranger Calls Back. Now, I really do like When a Stranger Calls, the original. Um, you got Carol Kane in this one. Another one from the Amazon sale on the buy to get one. Um, again, it's just the sequel to that film. 1993. Shout out to Carol Kane for 
her uh, role as the mother in License to Drive. What Keeps You Alive trailer in this one looks cool too. Another IFC Midnight collab. Same with this one, What We Become. This one's really hard to find too, I, I, out of nowhere. Um, I got it off Best Buy when I still had my discount before I left. But it's really hard to find now somehow. 2015. I think it's like a vampire flick. Zombie High. Eh, that's another one from uh, Hamilton Book or McKay's or something. It's bad. It's, it's bad. Um, actually, that one got kind of thrown in the mix a little too early, but that's fine. Welcome to Mercy. This one's cool. Um, just about possession, but which is not original at all. I understand that. But it was dope. Let's see. Let me get these. Get these in the order here. Alphabetical order. All right. Next up, White of the Eye. Another one that was cheap, um, but I've heard it's rough. It's, it's bad. 1987. But again, one of those. At, at a time, that was out of print. The Widow. This one looks crazy, dude. Relatively new release um, from 2020. Look forward to checking that out. I may start trying to dig into some of these next week. The Wildling. Really like this one. Werewolf film. Liked it a lot. Um, Brad Dourif's in that, actually. Windows. Another one that was a cheapie. 1980. Haven't watched it yet. I've heard, I've heard mixed reviews about it. but Witches in the Woods. This one was really dope, dude. Um, 2020 film. Another one that I got in before the end of the year. And um, I thought it was really, really good, man. It's another one that was. Is it a? It's a Screen Factor. It's the Shout Studios release. It's, a, it's one. Of, usually though, I know Fender Benders like that too. But that one was dope. Witchboard, another one that I like. Have not seen the sequels. This is from '86. Do like that one though. Women's Prison Massacre. Haven't watched it. It's another one that was a cheapie. From um, what's it called? From old uh, Hamilton. I snatch up all the, the Hamilton book screen factories because they're like four to six dollars, and at some point I'll get to around to watching them. Wormwood, I talk about this one in every screen factory video, whatever year I do them. This one's awesome. It's just basically like they say in the thing. It's it's Mad Max: Dawn of the Dead. It's exactly what it is. Not a better way to describe that movie, really. So that's the extent of the. Um, that's the extent of the. Blu-rays from Screen Factory or Shout Factory that I have, or from Screen Factory, that aren't collector's editions. I'll show you the still books. I only have a handful. I have five. Um, I wasn't try I, Looking back, maybe I should have just bought them and kept them sealed to sell later down the road for stuff that I wanted. You know. Um, so I've been picking up still books here and there when I see them. Motel Hell. I just keep them sealed. I'll use them for trade bait or to sell them later. You know, once they go up in price to buy something else that I like movie wise slumber party massacre these were cheaper than that i got them at um fye that's a, that's a really dope still book and these do have 4k transfers on them i'm pretty sure which aren't on the versions that i have you got the pumpkin head still book the artwork on these are really cool again i don't collect still books but these are the only still books that i own piranha another one that's 4k master and then i have the my bloody valentine one so like I said, I'm not really trying to go back and buy all the ones that have already been out. From here on out, I guess I'll just keep one of the, you know, buy a still book and just keep it sealed for safekeeping later because they always shoot up in price. So now we're going to show uh, the Shout Select and the multi-feature multi ones and then we'll end out the video, man. Just got this in this uh, last couple of weeks and I'm so hyped about it. It does suck though that they didn't put any new features on it. It just, it looks like they just poured it over everything from the DVD. Um, but all about the Benjamins, man. Mike Epps, Ice Cube, absolutely love this movie. Great comedy, like action movie. Next up, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and then Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. I didn't want to spend the 30, 35 bucks for that Shout Select one, like the big edition with all the features. So I just got the little two pack at Walmart with just the movies on it. That's fine. The first one I really like, the second one's okay. Next up, we got Brewster's Millions. Not my favorite John Candy or Richard Pryor movie. It has some funny parts to it, but it's not the greatest, but I love John Candy, man. 1985. And with the with the Shout Selects, they're so random to what has slips and what doesn't. So some of them have slips, some of them don't. Who gives a shit? The Burbs, one of my favorite comedies ever. Love it. 
City Slickers. Um, I remember seeing this a long time ago. My 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 papa used to always love watching them the City Slickers movies. I don't I haven't watched it in years though. The Deer Hunter. This is the four first 4K Shout Select release, and I haven't seen them release any other 4K Shout Selects. I don't think uh, with Robert De Niro. I do want to dig into that at some point. It's just such a long ass movie. It's a little intimidating. Dragnet, absolutely love this one. Tom Hanks, Dan Aykroyd, um, great 80s comedy, 1987. Hanks was killing it on that little run at the end of the 80s. John Carpenter film, Kurt Russell, Elvis. Have not watched this, but it was a John Carpenter one, and it was one I got for free in the buy two, get one sale from 79. Who knows? Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, great movie, man. Great, great movie. All the actors in this did a great job. I mean, you got Pacino, Jack Lemmon, Alec Baldwin, Ed Harris, Alan Arkin, Kevin Spacey. So many dope ass like performances in this movie. I don't really like that cover, that alternate artwork, but the movie's dope. Really dope movie. California. Um, it says the theor the, the uh, theoretical cut for the first time on Blu-ray. I've seen this. I had the uh, the reg uh, the Reggie Miller release, the regular release. It was cool. It just kind of reminded me of like Natural Born Killers or something like that. Kind of that vibe. Masked and Anonymous. This one looks dope, man. It's got, it's another one that I never even knew existed. Came out in 2003, and you've got Jeff Bridges, Penelope Cruz, Bob Dylan, John Goodman, Jessica Lane, Luke Wilson. It's just star-studded cast, but it's just kind of... I never even knew it existed. Matinee. This one's cool, man. you got John Goodman in it. Um, Joe Dante directed it. Not near as good as Burbs, but it's, it's fun. Midnight Run. I've seen this so many uh, so many times. Me and Skaggs really love this movie. Um, he's the one that put me on in this movie. And I think I, I don't remember if I sold him mine or what. That's why this is sealed. But um, I can't remember if I did or not. Either, either, anyway, great movie. The Missing. I remember seeing this um, in the theater when it first came out. Because this, or maybe I had the DVD. This came out in 2003 when I worked at Media Play. I think I bought the DVD of this back in the day. This is a dope movie, man. Um, like suspense thriller with Tommy Lee Jones and Kate Blanchett. Cool that they put that out on uh, Shout Select. Another one, great a great '80s film, man. Mr. Mom, hilarious movie, 1983. Michael Keaton, love it. Got the Nutty Professor collection. The, both of these movies are great, and I just went ahead and grabbed it during one of those sales again. 1996 was part one, and 2000 was part two. Eddie Murphy's the goat, man. Red Dawn. The slip for this is like, I mean, you'd have to, you'd have to sell your left testicle if you're a man to probably afford that with a slip. Red Dawn, Peace Ways, R.I.P. Speaking of Peace Ways, look at this little double action here. You got Red Dawn and Roadhouse, classic cheese. Next up, someone to watch over me. This is one I picked up for like nine ninety six at Walmart when they had that display. Nineteen eighty seven, Tom Berenger. Where's the substitute? Man, that needs a Blu-ray release. I love the substitute. The first one. Three o'clock high. Used to watch this all the time as a kid. My grandparents had it on one of those VHS tapes that they recorded off Showtime or Cinemax or HBO, whatever it was. And I used to always, I used to hate the bully in this movie so bad, dude. It was cool they put that on Shot Select. Trespass, another one from Shot Select. Ice-T, Bill Paxton, RIP. Ice Cube, William Sadler. Dope ass movie. And we got Twins. One I haven't watched yet, but I figured I'd give it a shot. It was cheap. Too. It was like 15, uh, 14 or 15 bucks when it first came out. 1988. Got Arnold and old Danny DeVito. Next up is another one that looks pretty funny and another one with Kurt Russell. Used Cars. Um, the trailer on this looked hilarious. 1980. I love Kurt Russell. so Very Bad Things. Really dope that this got a shout select. Um... Crazy movie, funny movie too. Another one that star studded cast, Cameron Diaz, Christian Slater. And I did not realize until just now that Peter Berg directed this. That's crazy. When Harry Met Sally, this is a good romantic uh, comedy. Um, Billy Crystal, Meg Ryan. That's a dope one. I don't really have any, hardly any romantic comedies in my collection, but that's one of them that I do have. The Wizard, freaking love this movie, man. Fred Savage. Um, this is such a dope release, man. The slip on it's dope, and then it's got the old-fashioned artwork. Um, really cool movie. Used to watch it all the time as a kid when Mario 3 came out, and it told you all the cheats and all that. Now we're going to get into the double, the double features. This is another one that was a limited I just bought. 
will never even open it and watch it. It was Amazon's and Barbarian Queen. I think they're already sold out. They'll just get used as trade bait later down the road, I'm sure. We got the double feature of Bad Dreams and Visiting Hours. Bad Dreams is awesome. It's basically a Nightmare on Elm Street ripoff. Visiting Hours is dope too. It's a little slower, but it's dope. We've got a great double feature. Here. Well, I've seen Cellar Dweller. I haven't watched Catacombs yet. But you got Cellar Dweller uh, Catacombs. I like Cellar Dweller. Ghost House and Witchery. Both of these are rough. Um, which one is it that's got... Oh, I think Witchery is the one that's got Linda Blair and um, David Hasselhoff. Jesus Christ. Classic. Next up, we've got Love at First Bite and Once Bitten. Once Bitten is fucking terrible. I haven't even watched Love at First Bite yet with George Hamilton. God. Another like, why did you buy that chat? Next up, Metamorphosis and Beyond Darkness. Metamorphosis is a fucking crazy movie. Beyond Darkness I haven't watched yet, but Metamorphosis is dope. The Outing, a.k.a. The Lamp. I really like that movie, man. It's like a... I just thought it was a dope 80s like horror film, but The Godsend, it's okay. Um, it's kind of weird. It's it's all right. That I got that for the outing though. And then Scanners two and three. Scanners one was all right in the Criterion Collection. This is another one that was dirt cheap, and these go out of print at some point. The double feature, so I just kind of try to grab them because there's a lot now that I wish I wouldn't have sold a few years back because they're super expensive now. Like the Destroyer and Edge of Sanity, one I wish I'd have never got rid of. Tales from the Crypt and Vaults of Horror. Anthologies there. Terror Vision and Video Dead. Terror Vision is so good. But let me show you what happened. So I originally bought Terror Vision and Video Dead back on eBay. And look what they did to me on eBay. I didn't realize it until like a month later when I could open it up to watch it. Just two DVDs. No Blu-ray and DVD. So I ended up having to get it again. Blu-ray DVD. But I got that for like eight, nine bucks. Before, you know. So... I don't know. I have three DVDs of that double feature. Jesus Christ. Last but not least, we've got The Terror Within and The Terror Within 2. Really dope double feature, man. Another one that was a limited release. It's already sold out. Um, see, 1989 and 1991. I thought both of them were dope, man. For sure. But that's the whole Screen Factory collection, man. There was a shit ton of movies. Hopefully, you made it to the end of it. Hopefully, I didn't piss anybody off with my uh, commentary, but I love each and every one of y'all, man. I love horror movies. I love Scream Factories. Uh, I think they kill it with the releasing, and um, hopefully y'all enjoyed this movie, man. If y'all did, be sure to like the video. Comment below on what you thought I, of my collection, some of the ones you liked, you didn't like, you hated, what should I watch first on these that I haven't watched, and subscribe to Chat Arms TV, man. I love each and every one of you, baby. Peace. If you ain't a grinder, you no kin to me. No, no. New Versace on, come and get a whip for me. Flexing on these haters like my name was Mr. T. What else? This motherfucker slapping, call it Twisted T. <laughs> Need a verse, shit, that's 250 or 10 to 3. Get it. Running to the bread like King Henry in Tennessee. Yeah. It's got a death wish as soon as I go pick a beast. Yeah, yeah this motherfucker slapping, call it Twisted T. Yeah. <laughs>